Yo, 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 hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, <clears throat> or all five of you who watch me. <laughs> who knows, maybe I'll get a following, I don't know, but uh, it's, it's not looking good at the moment. But anyways, um, at the very least, I just want to record this uh, for myself so I can look at it later. Um, I suppose that's, that's what all these videos are about, just me looking at... Uh, I can look back on my games, you know, a long time from now and say, oh, wow, that's that's where I was, you know, and, uh, and uh, yeah, just be proud of the uh, progress I made. But anyways, um, I want to look at a game that was between me and uh, this one Smurf. <laughs> um, so her name is Gossip Girl. Apparently it's a girl. Uh, if it's a guy, he's really dedicated to the part, but uh, <laughs> I'm convinced. Anyways, it turns out Gossip Girl is a Masters Terran player. And um, so we had, so we played some uh, some custom games together, and uh, and you can tell like right away like well this she's you know obviously way better than me, but uh, this is the, this is the most recent one that uh, we played, and I felt good about it in terms of macro I felt pretty good about it, you know we can get into you know army composition and whatnot and what's good and what isn't, but uh, just in terms of spending money and keeping myself you know not supply blocked, it was. Uh, it was pretty good, but uh, another thing too, like at the time I actually I don't remember if she tells me when she's masters, but whatever, maybe it was after this. I think I assume she isn't masters, and, and it actually is my level plat or whatever. And uh, and usually I can get away with um, uh, with not uh, with not paying attention to my army and all that stuff, and I can kind of a move and have have uh, and have success from time to time. So, yeah, that cost me the game. I just uh, didn't look at my army, it died, and uh, she got in position and just finished me off. So, um, yeah. So let's see what she does. I actually don't know, just kind of have some guesses. She played a very heavy macro style. And uh, it's like, let's see what she does. Also, this kind of crap drives me crazy. I mean, I'm obviously the one doing the harassment, but she does it like every game. She's Really annoying, but something I just need to get used to. She's gonna throw down her command center at right away. Did she make? She made one marine throw down the command center, and so this is actually important to note because she knows what she's doing, and I'm just kind of guessing from time to time. Um. So yeah, mine is definitely a little delayed. I guess what I should do here: um, only make one marine. And then make the command center, and then resume marine production, which is uh, what she does, I believe. <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah, see what she does here, and throws on the bunker. So she's basically doing what I'm doing, but you know, only better. So that's always cool. Look at oh good god! Look at this crap. This this actually annoys me <laughs> because uh, I feel like um, yeah, like this almost feels like like a macro cheese. I mean, obviously I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but it just it just feels like it's so like you know banking on um, you know me not attacking or whatever. It's just ugh. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what she does. I mean, me, like, you know, my whole idea was to do the 1-1-1 after the, after the expand, just because I feel like having all three buildings allows me to stay safe no matter what they do. Um, of course, she's not doing any pressure whatsoever, so that kind of sucks. So maybe I should have, if I'm going to go 1-1-1 every game, I might as well have a better uh, a better follow-up, because what I'm doing right now isn't very good. Um, when, when they, you know, when they play macro style like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. I'll have to ponder on that. But, um, so I was going to throw up two barracks at, um, very unorganized locations, so that's cool. But <laughs> usually I like having, like, you know, right on top of each other, it just kind of makes sense. But whatever, you know. Maybe she likes diagonal. So, let's see. And there is my scan going off around 6.30, which is what I've been trying to do, as I've uh, mentioned in previous games. So kind of, you know, learning from that. Back in my base. Like, like I said, though, my macro for this game was, like, on. It was just good. Um, at least I think it was. 
I built um, like things that I've been wanting to do. I've decided I'm going to do it, and I have. So like I said before, like maybe I should make the engineering bay at the starport. I said, nah, I'll build it when the factory's building, and, and it works out. Time's out. But the problem is, though, is that if someone plays like this and gets a third command center right away, and I have no way to apply pressure, or at least I have no plans of doing so, other than the single banshee that I make, which clearly isn't that great of an idea. Um, yeah. I suppose, like, let's see, I'm just trying to think of options that I could do. I mean, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I suppose one option would be, like, a Hellion drop. You know, something like that. But, I don't know. Right now, my multitasking isn't really that great, so... I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. For now, just keep my money low, keep myself safe from being killed early, and uh, I'll be content. Not ready to beat Masters players anyways, <laughs> so it's fine. Getting two upgrades right away, so that's cool. Thing to keep in mind too is did I already finish Siege? So it's already it is already available. So like there is another thing too. Like and I was thinking this in the game. I do a push actually because I think hey I have Siege. To, I know because I, I knew I was ahead in tech right because I saw that she was making this third command center and that's why I wind up moving out. But turns out I just uh, I moved out too late. I don't know. I just don't know. This just comes in like I should be able to punish this. I should I really should be able to. Like if the attack was to happen like right now, I feel like that'd be good. And what do I got in my base? Two tanks, some marines. That's actually not too bad of an idea. So hmm. Hmm. Cause like a big priority in this build was to be safe, and part of being safe was having siege tech, you know, as quick as I can. So if I'm not gonna use it to, use it to uh, defend, maybe I should just use it to, uh, to you know apply some pressure, you know, deny, you know, or delay the third and all that. <clears throat> so yeah. Otherwise, she's just getting way ahead for like no reason, you know. There's our banshee not really doing a whole lot. Not paying attention, it dies. Wah, wah, wah. But yeah, no, this is definitely like this is this was way too late. <laughs> I should, I think at two tanks I should go in, and because uh, I got a decent enforce here, right? Let's actually go back. Let's see. When was that? When was that? What I want to look at is when uh, the fact her factory finished. Let's see. Let's see, and plan it. So if the attack was to happen right now, right? The second not too bad. At my second tank, I push out. That's not too, uh, I, I can get behind this. What does she have? Let's look at the unit counting station. She has 12 Marines, I have 12 Marines, two tanks. Eh, eh, right, right. Um, I mean, in terms of reinforcements though, but then again, I feel like the tanks just kind of should solve my problem, right? I don't know. It's something worth trying, though. And I think if I play her again, uh, I'll try this. So, because um, I, I def I gotta do some pressure. I just gotta. I gotta. But anyways, let's uh, speed it up. Also, sorry if this is like very like unorganized, because I am literally just doing this on the fly. This isn't like uh, this isn't me with a pre-written script here. I'm just. Um, Pondering my thoughts live. Um, so, anyways, moving with three tanks. This was never gonna work. And I wind up losing all my shit. And that was really the game ender right there. You know, like her third's already been up and running. She's this just seems fucking greedy as shit. Like she just knows that she's playing a bad player, and uh, she can get away with this garbage. When really, I mean, this could be a whole bunch of barracks. Or she's got a lot of gas too. She could throw down like. You know, two, three more uh, uh, factors if she wanted, you know. So, yeah. 
that was basically the end, though. That's all that's really worth looking at. Um, but I will say, though, that my macro was on. It was definitely on this game. And, it, I mean, it falls apart. Like, right here, right? All that money goes down. I, I had a plan. It was all right. It's all good. Although this was kind of arbitrary. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I never let it get too high. Until she attacks me, then it's game over. <laughs> my money just falls apart. Right around here, I'm sure I would have added barracks or something, because I had the money. But I'm just so flustered that, uh, yeah, that was it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that was the game. Yeah, I don't know. I guess what I can learn from this is if they're doing this crazy expansion craziness, I, I should uh, push in early, apply some pressure, and, uh, you know, deny the third from being put up right away. And, you know, eventually leave and make sure my, you know, units don't die. But, uh, you know, another option, too, would be to do, do, like, a Hellion drop, which I'd have to change my build around entirely for that. And I don't know if I want to do that, so... And also the whole multitasking thing, which I suck at at the moment. So, maybe later down the road I'll consider that. For now, I should definitely try the, uh, the uh, two-tank push with uh, 12 Marines. See how that goes. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that was the game. Um, I feel like I could have analyzed this better, but... Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I said I was originally going to do, like, you know, an analysis of me winning a game, me losing a game, you know, each day doing, you know, interchanging. But, you know, whatever. I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. Take care.